everyone. Welcome to Show and Tell. My name is Aicha Bash. I'm a cloud advocate at Microsoft. Today, we have a very special guest. Hemel, Lewis, and Pritika are joining us from University College London, and they will show us their amazing project, Resourcium. Before we start, start talking about Resourcium, hi, Hemel, Lewis, Pritika, how are you doing? Yeah, hi. fine. Good. Great. Enjoy awesome. the summer. <laughs> yeah, totally. And can you tell us a little bit uh, more about yourself? Uh, yeah, uh, so my name is Simon, of course. Uh, I go UCL and uh, yeah, and during the summer, she said. <laughs> Pratika? Yeah, my name is Pratika. I'm from India. We all study computer science at UCL and are going into our third year now, hopefully. Awesome. <laughs> um, <laughs> Um, my name is Lou. I also do computer science. Uh, I'm going to my third year. Perfect. Uh, we are really excited to have you guys here today. So let's start talking about Resourcium. What is Resourcium? Can you explain us? Yeah. So Resourcium is basically a platform where students get all the resources they would essentially need for online learning, especially given the COVID situation. We've incorporated Microsoft learning, LinkedIn learning, and use forms where they can fill out like the forms they need, would need to tell professors what they need. Perfect. So it's literally like one single place they can find everything? Yeah. Basically, that, that was the plan. <laughs> awesome. So what inspired you to build such project? I, th I think it was mainly because um, our client, who is our, our university uh, professor, um, had this sort of need where he wanted the he wanted the UCL computer science department to be an exemplar to uh, the rest of the departments and how to do online learning. And they didn't really have all the resources and tools they needed to be able to do this. And um, one of the things I really wanted to improve on is understanding and uh, and improving student engagement. And that was that was what uh, created the idea for this app. Wow, this is really cool. So um, can you tell us a little bit more about Resourcium? How did you build this project? Which technologies did you use? Um, yes, yeah, so uh, I, I, I could start. Oh, do, you want to, do you want to go and uh, start with the stuff you were doing? Yeah, so first, do you want to show the architecture diagram, and then we can talk over that uh, to show the technologies? Yeah, perfect. Yeah, yep. it's on my screen now. OK, yep. So uh yeah so the technologies we use uh so i guess all, all of it is microsoft technologies apart from the actual coding languages so html css javascript react these are the obviously the front end drivers of everything and then in the back end we have uh, cosmos db microsoft form sharepoint uh, azure functions which actually drive data from the app to um, uh, the back end um, and that's how we obtain data as well as your functions um, and Microsoft Graphs API, uh, which is well documented as well. So on the architecture diagram, you can see that it's a smooth interaction, you could say, between our application and then where the data is being centralized into SharePoint uh, for lecturers to use. Perfect. So um, do you have any demo demo of your application, uh, your project, so we can understand more how resourcing works? Yeah, so we've got a few videos here we can show. Um, so uh, the first thing is um, it was quite important that uh, we implement a sign in with SSO functionality. So this would let students use their own UCL accounts, uh, Microsoft accounts, um, without us having to create our own uh, and store passwords, which is a whole big security issue. Um, so you can always you can tap the button. It's not shown here, uh, but if you're because I'm already logged in, it will log in automatically. But it will go to a page and say, "Hey, do you, you know, do you want to sign in with you using your UCL username and password?" Um, so I think Pratika could talk about this. Yeah. So it was very important to make the app customizable, so it's a little personal, and you tend to use it more when you can change a few things. So one of the things that we can change is the color scheme. We have two modes, dark mode and light mode. Right. Um, yeah. And do you see the greetings at top, which says, hi, Louise? So you can put it to whatever color you want based on your preferences. Then another thing that we, the three of us, got into discussion was, what would you like besides like study-related resources and Twitter and 
Twitch stream are quite popular within our age group. So when you go to the settings page, you can turn on UCL Twitter because this is this app is for UCL. And you can put in your favorite Twitch stream, which will be visible on the home page. So that was how we try to make the app a little customizable. Um, so that's something I was working on a bit, which was um, registering. So that uh, so the idea is, is that uh, lecturers want to know where the students are, and are attending the lectures. So if, if not, they consider speak to personal tutors or, or whatnot to try and resolve the situation. And um, so it's really important that um, we uh, the students register themselves, and they're not registering by not, they're not being registered by other people. So we designed this two-factor authentication system um, using uh, one-time passwords. And so the idea is you can either scan a QR code if it's on a website or you can just copy the secret and you can enter it into any app uh, that supports it. Um, and it will generate these codes every 30 seconds, which you can then use and enter into a form, uh, which will say, oh, well done, you've registered. Um, and so, so that that system is designed by uh, by by Orca. So we, we just communicate with their system once we verify the yes, this is the correct user. Yep, so yeah. this is the well-being page. Um, it's just to do with filling out forms to help out students on what they need help with. So the additional help form um, just allows students to ask lecturers or teaching and learning team in general what they need help with. Uh, I need help with, say, compilers or something in a particular module. You, you send this ticket out and then they'll respond to you via email. Uh, and then we have the uh, report, your stress level. So it's just to do with the idea that uh you want to show your lecturers how you're feeling about the course currently like essentially your fears you could say so to a certain extent like uh what you're worried about um what's not going well on your course maybe and what can they actually improve on uh in the module currently to maybe make it more better for you i guess as a student and yeah yeah store all this data and uh um i think the next part on this would be the student um help page yeah there is so the student help page uh kind of brings together all resources uh, and hence why it's called Resourcium. So you have the Microsoft Learn uh, availability, LinkedIn Learn, and then the Q&A bot. So what you can do is students can search for things they need help with, um, and it will present you with some results that you can use uh, to learn by yourself. Um, and if they can't find it on here, again, they have, that rep uh, they have the additional help form to ask for help uh, if they can't find it on this uh, tab. And then you have your Q&A bot here, which you just uh, ask um, for assistance, as you can see. Um, and you can ask your questions, of course. Uh, and hopefully, if, the, if it does has, have the answer to your question, it will give you the answer. Otherwise, again, you have that uh, form ready uh, for you in case you need help that's beyond the scope of this tab, essentially. So here we have the SharePoint site. Um, it's, it's quite a simple SharePoint site. It's not too complicated. It's just to uh, show you guys the idea of storage of data, how it's stored and how it can be presented. As you can see, we have pie charts um, and you can filter that data. We have other types of charts, vertical charts and whatnot, which you can use. Um, and this is the Q&A uh, list, uh, which uh, lecturers can enter data into and it will automatically update the Q&A pairings of the bot in order to match the requirements. So for example, if I wanted to put in a question like, who am I? And then the answer is I am you or something. Uh, then you can just type that directly into that database and it will update the bot for you. And then in a few minutes, you'll notice the bot automatically updated uh, on its live server, uh, which should be shown in about a second. Yep, there it is. Um, so, uh, and there you go. Uh, so it's been updated successfully, it took less than a minute or so to do so and that. So that's our application. Well, perfect. I, I see that you leverage uh, from a lot of different technologies in this project. And I see um, you consume SharePoint a lot and uh, a lot of graph uh, consumption too. Uh, you get a lot of Microsoft 365 data um, using Microsoft Graph API. And also what I love about your, this project is the Q&A bot. You literally consume Azure bot service and you create Q&A bots to be helpful uh, to a lot of other students. And uh, as well as it's not only Microsoft 365 data, I see Microsoft Learn and LinkedIn Learning is also part of your project, which is awesome. It is literally showing us there is one 
place for everyone. They can check out Twitter, Twitch. They can go to Microsoft Learn and try to uh, learn uh, new technologies by consuming some modules. This is amazing. <laughs> I think one of the, the, the motivating factors to this was um, that students don't realize these resources already exist. And we wanted some kind of way where they could just find one app where it's all in there, they can be directed where they need to go. That was something that was really important to us to design this. This is also, perfect. Yeah, go ahead, sorry. Pritika. Also, another thing, our app also has links to other uni-related stuff, like Student Help Center and the library. Yeah. Mm. Just another feature. Extra, yeah. yeah. Awesome. I feel like this project would be really interesting for a lot of other institutes, students, or um, people in other country too. Not only for schools, actually, it would be useful for, for some companies, enterprise companies. Where can developers find more information about your project? Is there any place they can go check out and discover more? Yeah, so um, all of our source codes on GitHub, so um, resourcium for slash resourcium on GitHub, um, there's a detailed deployment guide. So it's very, very customizable. So all the UCL specific thing you, things you see are uh, are not hard coded. So it's all customizable in, in a config. Um, that was a big part of our application, which was what uh, we wanted it so that other universities could also take this up if they want to. Um, we've also got a uh, blog which describes more about our project. It's on the uh, uh, Microsoft's uh, de uh, education and developer blog. Um, and uh, we also have a, a project website which sort of goes into more detail um, mm. about, about our decisions, our, um, our research, design, testing. Um, and finally, there's one there's also one sort of extra blog we wrote um, again on the uh, education developer blog, uh, which was how to implement SSO for Microsoft accounts. This, is, this has nothing to do with our project specifically. So if you're interested in implementing um, SSO with for single page apps, you can find this um, explained in this blog as well. Wow, so your project is 100% open source. I'm seeing yep. that your project is available on GitHub. Yep. So yep. if anyone wants to check out the code, if they want to implement the same project on their own school, or if they want to contribute to your project and maybe add new features, they can just check out the GitHub page and um, get the resource source, source code uh, straightforward. This is awesome. Yeah. And also, I see that uh, you like sharing what you learn. There are a couple of blog posts, and um, you share full knowledge from your project as well as uh, SSO part. I think these are really useful. I love it. We will share all these links in the description box. Of course, you can check out and um, just get, follow the links, go through them and understand a bit more about uh, resource you. And um, with that, I would like to thank our amazing speakers, Hemel, Pritika, and Lewis. They build amazing project and also uh, they join us here today to share their story, their project too. So uh, I'm really excited to uh, learn more with what's gonna come next for Resourceium. Thanks everyone. Uh, thanks Hemel, Pritika and Lewis for being us here today, being, being with us here today. Thanks for watching everyone. Um, don't forget to like and subscribe for more Microsoft 365 developer videos. Thank you. Thank you. Thank Bye. you. Bye. Bye.